today I'm fitting the Grey Wind blind. It is a smart blind that can be opened and closed without using your hands. And if you're still using your hands to open and close your blind, you're wasting time. And it's important to know, nobody can give you your time back. So products like this might be worth investing in. And when it comes to ordering Grey Wind blind, all you need to do is go to their website, input the measurements for the blind size that you need. You also need to decide whether you want to fit it on the inside of the frame or outside of the frame. If you fit it outside of the frame, it'll actually block out more light but I think it looks nicer inside, so that's what I went with. So anyway, I don't know how easy or difficult this is gonna be to set up. That's what we're gonna find out in this video. So depending on what setup you go with, the contents of the box may differ, but in this one, I've got three brackets, the power lead, the battery for the remote control, a small metal bar, which I believe fits to the antenna, two packs of screws with wall plugs and some bubble wrap. Check this out, this looks like an iPod, but it isn't. This is the control for the blind. If you don't wanna use your voice or automation, you can use your fingers. To control the blinds with these buttons. And there's a little heart button there, which I'm assuming is gonna be your favorite setup for the blind. So if you just push that, it will go to that setting. And here is the power brick, and that is an American adapter. And the good news is the plug is interchangeable, so you can actually change the head on it to a European or British plug. And of course, we have the user guides and manuals all in this little pack. And if you wanna check out Grey Wind on social media, it links. So that is everything unpacked, and this is the blind as it is right now. I went for the heather gray color because it kind of matches everything else in the YouTube room. Um, yeah. Okay, now I've got it all unpacked. I'm gonna have to do something that I rarely ever do. Read the manual. So in order to install a Grey Wind blind for yourself, you will need a pencil, a screwdriver, spirit level, at least a five meter tape measure, and a drill with a six millimeter drill bit. Everything else is provided for you in the box. So in order to fit the Grey Wind blind, the first thing you're gonna to need to do is remove your old blind and try to do it without cutting your fingers in the process. Then, using a tape measure, mark exactly five inches from the left and right edges of the window frame. And if it's a big window frame, you want to mark the exact center point as well for the third bracket. Now, use the holes in the metal bracket to line up the exact spots to drill. Then, drill the holes, plug in the wall plugs, and then fit the brackets securely as possible using the provided screws. I pushed the brackets all the way back so they're actually touching the window frames. This just ensures that the blind is gonna be perfectly parallel with the window itself. And honestly, the hardest part of the installation process was drilling the holes. The rest of it was a breeze. And when it comes to the remote, it's already paired to the blind, so you can start using the blind immediately with the iPod looking remote control. Now, in order to pair the blind, you've got to download the app. There is a button on the top right hand side of the blind that you need to hold down. This puts it into pairing mode. Then you just simply follow the on-screen instructions on the app to connect it to the Wi-Fi, and it really is that easy. Now I've got the blind connected to the app, and what we can do here is we can rename the blind to whatever we want. So I've called it the YouTube Room Blind, and we can also change the icon for it as well if we want. We can even take a picture of the blind and use that as the icon, and we can set the location as well for the blind within rooms. So if you have multiple gray wind blinds, you can have them all sort of listed out here in the different locations. And then you can see here within the settings, you can connect it to your AI. So we've got Alexa, Google Assistant, Smart Things, Xiaodu, Tencent, Ding Dong, Timo, and Yandex. So I'm gonna connect it to Alexa. And as you can see, once I logged into Alexa and added a new device straight away, it discovered it here, YouTube Room Blind, and it's also discovered the new robot vacuum that I just added to my system recently. So there we go, super easy. As you can see right here, this is the home screen, and we can use these little arrows to move the blind up or down. But you see at the top where it says 0%, that means there's 0% closed at the moment. But what we can do here is actually drag this down to the exact percent that we want and it will bring the blind down to that percent closed. So you can get real granular and exact with how you want the blind to be. And the great thing is once you've figured out exactly where your favorite position is, you can hit the little heart button down here to favorite that position. So what do I think of the gray wind blinds? Well, first of all, I'm impressed with the amount of light that they can block out. It's definitely better than what I was using before. I'll also say the installation process 
is much easier than expected. Literally, a couple of holes, click it on, get your phone out, connect it to the internet, and it's done. Very impressed with that. One thing that was a little bit confusing to me was I thought I was getting the one with the battery in it, and it turns out the one that I've got here is a wired solution, which means now there's a problem to solve, and that's how to hide the cable that's draped down the wall. So just make sure you know which version of the blind you're buying, the wireless one or the wired one. Even though this connects wirelessly to the internet, it's not wireless in the sense that it doesn't have its own power supply built in. So in my opinion, I would recommend the battery one is just gonna be an easier solution for most people because if your cable can't reach to a power supply, that is a big problem. So let that be a lesson to you. Don't make the same mistake that I did by ordering the wrong one. But overall, I'm incredibly impressed and I'm very happy with how this integrates with my smart setup here in the YouTube room. And also there's an element of security there as well. If the blind is moving on its own when I'm not home, people outside observers will assume that someone's home because someone must be operating the blind and they are her name is alexa so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i'd appreciate a thumbs up and if you just subscribed you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man link for this product's in the description go check it out if you want see you in the next one